Hey Google, feed the fish. Aye, aye, Captain. Hi, I'm Ryan. Today, we're gonna use voice control to automate anything. This will work for Alexa and Google Assistant. I wanna automate my fish tank from the lighting to the feeding. And what we're gonna do is take a Raspberry Pi and we're gonna use voice controls to automate an LED. If you can automate the LED, you can automate anything. And as usual, the code's in the description and I'll show you the one piece you have to change to make it work for your own project. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go over to Adafruit IO. So that's io.adafruit.com. And you'll need to create an account here. When you do, go to Feeds, View All, and New Feed. This data feed, I'm gonna call LED Light and Create. And now I'm gonna go to Dashboards, View All, New Dashboard, and I'll call this one LED Light Dashboard and this Create. Okay, so the dashboard is an easy place for us to do some testing online. We don't have to write custom code. So we'll click on the dashboard and then the gear icon and create a new block. So for this project, just toggling a light switch, I'm gonna have an on-off toggle. For your project, choose anything else that works for you. I'll select it and choose next step. Here, you don't have to make any choices on your block settings. You can customize the text and whatnot, but I'll just have the title called LED light and create block. So now it's ready. Okay, next thing is to go to my key now, I'm not blurring out what these keys are, but you really should keep them secret because anyone who has these keys has access to your database. So what we're gonna do is come down to scripting, grab those two lines, and for right now, I'll just paste them in a text editor. But that's all we need for Adafruit IO. The next thing we're gonna do is go to ifttt.com and you'll need an account here. When you're ready, you can just start on the free account and press create. So if this, click add, and for me, I'm gonna use Google Assistant. So I'll just type Google, I'll click Google Assistant, and I want a simple phrase, turn the light on, turn the light off. So for me, it's okay Google or hey Google, and then the phrase. So this is to turn my LED on, but I'll say fish light on, or turn the fish light on, and then I'll have Google say aye aye captain, and we'll create this trigger. So if this phrase is stated, then I'll click add, we'll go back to Adafruit. So click Adafruit, send data to Adafruit. And it already knows the feed that we created. And then the data is going to be on, capital O-N, and create action. Continue. And now reading this through, if you say fish light on, IFTTT will send the word on to our feed at Adafruit. I'll click finish. And now we need just one more what they call applets. I'll click create. If this, add. Google Assistant, simple phrase, fish light off, or turn the fish light off, and then Google can tell me I I matey, I'll click trigger. So if I say fish light off, then Adafruit send data to LED light, and that'll be uppercase OFF. I'll create the action. And now whenever I say these phrases, Google will tell Adafruit to have the data on or off, I'll click continue, finish. So we've set up Adafruit, we've set up if this then that. Now all we need is the code on the Raspberry Pi. What we need to do on the code is go back to our credentials and I will just copy that and paste that in for our username and our secret key. And the feed was called LED lights. Looking at the code itself, in the main function, we're just gonna set up the Adafruit library. So we connect to Adafruit and on connect, we have a connect function then a disconnect, and then a message function whenever we receive a message. That message function just says if the payload is on, which is what we wrote for if this then that, or if the payload is off, then we just call some function. For this, I'm just toggling it, but this is right where you would change the code to add a servo or add other sensors for your project. Now to run, we just type pip install adafruit-io. This is pip3, so you might have to say pip3 install, and then python automation.py. And we can either say the message right now, or for testing purposes for you, come back over to your dashboard, go to the LED light dashboard, and so LEDs on, off, on, off. Hey Google, turn the fish light on. And it's on! Okay. That's how you do it. Now you can automate anything you want with Google or Alexa. Hey Google, turn the fish light off. And there we go. 
I hope that helps. And if you make something fun, show me down in the comments. I'd love to see. Thank you. Bye.